In seven news, learning prosecutors contacted 93 victims and family members before today's delay in the Holmes trial. 84 of them opposed to it. Seven News reporter Amanda Cost now with the emotional impact this process is having. Through the snow, freezing cold, they've stood together with hands held and hearts heavy. Victims, family taken back to that dark July night. Emotional, mental wounds from the Aurora Theater tragedy reopened in court. Draining days filled with tears, intense testimony, evidence. Right now, everybody wants to hear a plea. Guilty, not guilty, insanity. Now, that plea is 60 days away. It's just a disappointment. You know, you want to know what he's going to say, and then, then you can start thinking what's further to come. But now my mind is set on pause. Yusuf Garby scarred from being shot in the head. A teenage survivor with the wisdom to know his pursuit of justice requires patience. A lot of waiting, yes, a lot of waiting. It's going to be a lot of waiting, but in the end, justice will be served, so I guess I'm fine with waiting. And what's justice to you? I guess whatever the jury or the, or the judge decides, I mean, they, they know best. My closure was seeing my son walk and talk and breathe and, you know, be up and out of hospitals and rehabs in 35 days. In 7 News and the DenverChannel.com will bring you the very latest on the search for justice for the theater shooting victims. For late breaking information as it happens, log on to the DenverChannel.com and download our app or sign up for breaking news alerts.